What is up y'all? It's your boy Brandon Janowski back at it again with another video. Today we have a special one. Uh, this one was suggested to us by the subscriber known as Wolferoni Game Cat Meow. Great name by the way. <laughs> and so they wanted to know how does Unreal Engine 5 run on the Razor Blade 14. I'm not super familiar with this software, but like I always say, this channel is for y'all. So I downloaded it. I downloaded the ancient demo preview and I just put this Blade 14 through its paces. So let's just get straight to that footage and y'all can see how Unreal Engine 5 runs on the Razor Blade 14 and make your opinions yourself. In my opinion, it runs pretty well. You do have to be connected to the charger for most of it, but I'll just let you make your own opinion. Let's get to it. All right, so here we are at the initial loading screen. This is just a specs, recommended specs to run this. As you can see, the specs are definitely lower than what we have on the Razor Blade 14, so this should be no issue. I'm just going through the menus here to load up the Ancient World demo, as stated. I did put it in 2x speed because the loading time is a bit long. And as you can see in the description, it's a 96 gigabyte file for the Ancient World demo alone. So it's a pretty big file. And this is just going through the loading process because it is a pretty long load time. So I just wanted to make sure I showed that and that you can see how long it will take to load even with the charger connected. And we are at full performance on the Razor Blade 14. And this is still just loading, by the way. It's loading all the assets. It's hard to see in the top left corner. But once you loaded all the assets and you're in, that's when this actually gets a lot more fluid. Because as you can see now, when you click, say the camera, or you zoom in and out, it's all instantaneous. There might be a little jitter and a little bit of lag here and there, but for the most part, a lot of this is live. It is mostly uh, jitter free, but from here and there, you will get hiccups. And like I said, we are running the Razor Blade 14 on the full performance mode with the charger connected. But as stated before, this is a demo with a lot of assets. I'm talking thousands of assets already preloaded into this uh, Unreal Engine 5 uh, Ancient World demo. But look, if you see, I click the camera here and immediately you get a display, a first person view of what your character would be seeing in game. So as you see, when we move the character and the camera around in the lower right hand corner, you can see that it is an instant reflection of what's going on in the game so that makes it real instantaneous and easy to discern what you're doing at a given time and then we pull back here and i start checking with the other camera and once again as you can see as we just look around everything is happening in real time and it's happening almost the minute the second you do it so that's what's really good so that's what proves to me that the razor blade 14 can handle unreal engine 5 even though, once again, like I stated in the beginning, I am not 100% familiar with this software. But looking at this lighting or glowy thing, as you can see, you can pick apart the elements and it's all still happening in real time. And I'm just going through the motions here, um, clicking through the different elements, separating them, seeing how that affects the world in real time. As you can see, I can pull apart this asset into three different pieces and move it all around simultaneously together or separately. And as you can see, that does affect the particles around it. So we just put this all back right now. And once again, saying this for the third time, this is all happening in real time. And look, if you go, you can see the light as I pull the lighting element further away from the ground. You can see the purple does get a little bit more faded than if we were closer to the ground which once again is a proof that we're in real time and at this moment i started playing the game because you can actually play your game as you're building it while you're using unreal engine 5 that's a great feature that i love so you can test the assets as you're playing this was the drone mode so i wanted to show you how fast the world loads up even though it is thousands of assets as you can see i'm able to fly through the world pretty seamlessly there isn't much jitter or lag maybe here or there there's an occasional hiccup but it's nothing too crazy everything is real time everything is working flawlessly and as we fly against these rocks over here you can see everything is just loaded up pretty fast there is no issues it doesn't have to reload any of the elements once it has loaded all the assets they are loaded up it is as if you're playing an actual game that's already fully developed there may be 
the occasional misstep but as you can see i'm flying around here and you can see everything is already pre-loaded pre-rendered and there's no issues and this ancient world demo i have to say is a beautiful beautiful um rendition what they have already set up for us this is a great demo to play around with if you're someone who just wants to see what unreal engine 5 can do this is a great demo to take a look at so we went on to play the actual quote unquote game of Un ancient world and the first thing i wanted to do was figure out what this purple orby was and it, in fact it's interact it takes you to another world but since the assets of this secondary world were not loaded we have to now sit there and load these assets once again i put it on two times speed because the loading of such a huge file does take an enormous amount of time so this took me a couple minutes in real time so it's not the worst but it is something to be aware of if you're in a time critical uh moment the more assets you have the longer it will take to load but as you can see we go to this world and it is just amazing it is another beautiful rendition i'm pretty sure it's reusing a lot of the same assets but a lot of them are new as you can tell the atmosphere is different the lighting is different it almost feels like a whole nother game you can actually fight with the character the elements are destructible so all of this is happening this is me essentially playing the game right now so that shows you how powerful unreal engine 5 is I'm assuming that maybe this ancient world demo is 100% finished and could be uh, essentially a, a, a quote unquote finished game at this point. So, you know, as you're growing your own game, it may take longer. It may take um, a little less. Who knows? Depends on what you're trying to develop. But as we walk through here, there's actually a fun little Easter egg. Well, to me, it's an Easter egg. This is when the jittering starts because we're about to load up a cutscene. So once again, I'm not familiar with Unreal Engine 5 that well at all, but you can see that you can, in fact, add all these cutscenes and everything. And it is gorgeous. This is just a great demo to show off what you can do with Unreal Engine 5 because these assets and textures are just on another level. And you actually can fight this boss right here, which I did. So let's see how that goes. Oh yeah, I got him good there. Oh man. So yeah, as you can see, when I'm loading up a bunch of stuff going on, there is some jitter and some lag here or there. I'm not sure if you can control the settings. Uh, maybe you can. Perhaps you can lower the target resolution and stuff. Like as if, as if it were a game. Maybe that might make it easier to run. But this is just me trying it out, trying to show you guys how well Unreal Engine 5 does run on the Razor Blade 14. And as you can see, it runs really well. And then just right now, we're gonna transition to something a lot more simpler as if you're starting your own game. So what I'm gonna show you next is actually a starting template of a first person shooter, right? So that's where we're here right now. This is if you're making your own game, this is kind of a more starting template of something you would start with as opposed to the Ancient World demo, which seemed almost fully complete so this is a rough draft this is a template essentially you can start with a fully blank draft but i went ahead and started with this template once again you can already play you can already just jump right in and some mechanics are already baked in for you like the shooting as you can see some of the physics are are baked in for you but the one thing i did have you will see shortly is that when i tried to add some of these assets myself they didn't react the same way that could be something on my end. Maybe there's something I'm not doing properly. You're gonna see it right here when I add the assets. They're, they're not as bouncy as these other cubes. That could be on me, but um, who knows? So someone who's more familiar with Unreal Engine 5, please shout out in the comments what I did wrong here and how would I make these assets uh, more like the other ones, more affected by the, um, the ammunition of the, the render.
Like you see, I went ahead and added the cube, but as you'll see in this next step, when I go back to playing, I wasn't able to move it as I was the other one. So that's once again, probably something I did wrong. I'm not familiar with Unreal Engine 5. Once again, I'm just doing this so you guys can see how well everything is running. But as you can see, when you're making your own game, it's very fluent. It's very a lot more fluent than before. Also, I do have, a, I'm sure, hundreds less assets than in the Ancient World demo. So at some point, I guess you would probably want to move over to a desktop computer. Or if there is a setting to lower the render resolution in Unreal Engine 5, that might be something you want to do if you are using the Razorblade 14 as your primary system to do this. But it is indeed possible to create a game on Unreal Engine 5 using the Razorblade 14, which is just another proof that this laptop is amazing. I know I've been shouting it out. It's my favorite laptop. It's also the only one I own at the moment, but I think I made a good choice. <laughs> So yeah, I just run through playing this game a little bit more, just shooting all the assets, forcing around a bit. So let me know what you think about Unreal Engine 5 on the Razorblade 14. Uh, I think it runs pretty well. Let me know your opinions down in the comments. Once again, as always, thank you again for watching. And as we come up to an end here, you know I gotta use my famous tagline, peace out.